Now, from Switzerland to Mongolia to the inter-Korean border village of Panmunjom and even the North Korean capital Pyongyang, there have been various spots around the world that were considered as plausible locations for the first ever summit between North Korea and the United States. Now, oh Jung-hee sheds light on why Singapore was chosen over all the other options. Out of several candidate locations, it's finally down to one, Singapore. What makes Singapore a favorable location for both Pyongyang and Washington is that the Southeast Asian country is diplomatically neutral. It has good relations with North Korea and the U.S., and both countries have embassies there. Before international sanctions took full effect early last year, Singapore had been at the center of North Korea's overseas economic activities. But at the same time, it's also home to a U.S. naval base where American ships and aircraft make regular visits and several are stationed. Singapore is also close enough to North Korea for the regime's planes to make a non-stop flight. And the country is well practiced in hosting international events with the Asia Security Summit Shangri-La Dialogue taking place every year. The U.S. actually preferred Singapore more than North Korea did due to Singapore's security and infrastructure, as well as the political burden that would follow if the summit were held at Panmunjom or Pyongyang. And as North Korea has close relations with Singapore, it seems that Pyongyang chose not to drag on a tug of war over the summit location, but jump into the real business of the talks. Singapore's foreign ministry welcomed the decision, saying the country is pleased to host the summit talks between President Trump and North Korea's Kim. It added the country hopes the summit serves to, quote, advance prospects for peace on the Korean peninsula. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.